From the TraderGuy.com, this is Chris taking a look at the Kiwi against the Canadian dollar. And as you can see, it's been a nice run higher for the Kiwi. And let's think about what's going on here uh, from a fundamental standpoint. The Kiwi tends to follow, uh, it's a proxy essentially for Asia. And as the situation between the United States and China has deteriorated, it's not as contentious at least as it once was um, that has put some weight upon the kiwi but perhaps a little bit of a relief rally lately as well and of course we all know that the canadian dollar is highly leveraged to oil oil has gotten absolutely hammered and this does coincide quite nicely with the breakdown in oil so it makes sense that perhaps the kiwi would gain relative to the Canadian dollar. They're both commodity currencies, so they do suffer some of the same problems. But at the end of the day, uh, oil has really gotten hammered. But when you zoom out to the weekly chart, something becomes very apparent. Number one, we're in a downtrending channel. We have formed a couple of shooting stars, three in a row. Previously, my experience has been when you see three uh, shooting stars in a row, that means something that you should be paying attention to. You can also make an argument for, and I'll go ahead and put this at 0, 0.9250, 0, just to kind of split the difference here. Um, and I will make that a less obnoxious color. And you can see where there's a real argument for this market falling apart. Um, Really, what we need to see is a pickup in crude oil prices, and we did see a pop of 7%. Now, I don't think that's sustainable uh, from yesterday, but I do think that there's a real possibility oil has either bottomed or it's getting close. So at this point, I think if we can break down below 90.75, we will eventually make our way towards the bottom of the channel, and that's a significant move just waiting to happen. This is a swing trade. This is not a short-term blast. Um, if you're willing to hang on, you could be talking several handles here, um, you know, about 800 points. Otherwise, the initial target will probably be somewhere around 89. This, to me, is one of the more interesting uh, scenarios right now. If we were to break above the 92.5, that would negate this trade. And at that point, we would probably continue to go higher, although I would suspect that it would be very choppy. It's going to take a lot of work to break through this level. I just don't see it happening. I think oil will rebound. I think the U.S.-China thing will flare up again because, you know, it's been pretty quiet lately and that's not um, the style of the people negotiating. So uh, given enough time and perhaps even worries about global growth, I think will weigh upon the Kiwi.